A long, long time ago in ancient Rome, an old crone came up to the king, Tarquinius Superbus, and she said, Mr. Superbus, have I got an offer for you. In my hands here, I have nine books, and these books are very special. They're filled with prophecies and spells that will help Rome achieve greatness. And the king said, okay, how much do you want for these nine books? And the crone said a number that would have bankrupted Rome. So the king just laughed. And the crone, in response to his laughter, spread out the books in front of him, and she chose three. And these three books she burned in the fireplace in front of him. So now the king realised she meant business. And he went, okay, okay, let me have a look at the goods, and I'll, I'll see if we want So he had a look at the six, uh, six books that remained. And he said, okay, these look good. These are some nice prophecies, thank you very much. How much do you want for them? And the crow said, again, enough to bankrupt the city. Now, the king this time said, well, you want the same amount for, ha- for two thirds of many books. You're having a laugh on your bike, get out of here. So the crow, um, one by one, she took the books and she burned them in the fireplace in front of them. Now at this point the king was getting quite distressed and he stroked his beard furiously, he looked at his wife and he said, okay, how much for the remaining three books? And the crone said, guess what, the same amount. And so the king, finally he bought them, he caved, he bought the books and they guided Rome for the next few hundred years. They were then burned in a temple fire. Apparently no one had bothered checking the books to see if they predicted this. Which means for those of us today, these last three books have also been lost to the flames as they burn. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed that, please give us a like and a subscribe and I'll do my best to show you more of these. Uh, I'm slightly running out of ideas, so if you've got any, pop them in the comments. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Okay, that's good enough for me.